Yeah, uh, today I'm uh, showing you something new that I've not been talking about all the time. So I'm talking about the Brachelia molato. Brachelia molato, it has a lot of uh, protein and it has a lot of carbohydrate. So uh, it's one of the ideal grasses that we would uh, really have. Uh, as I told you that we are doing a cattle feed lot of over 1,000 plus cows. Our idea is to fatten them just within three months we sell them off. What do you do as a basic? I told you one of the things is the grass. Grass is the key point in this. Then we talk about of the, um, of the, of the breed, of which the breed comes after. Because even if you have a good breed and you don't have this, that means all oh, grass, maize, uh, sorghum or sugar graze, you cannot make the dollars. So the moment you have the grasses, um, very nutritious grasses, then you have to look at the, 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 the breed. But even if you have the breed and you have poor, poor grasses, it cannot do. If you have the, 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 uh, the grass and you have no good, uh, good animals, then you cannot do. Then the management at the end. The three pillars of uh, farming. One is genetics, breed, uh, the uh, genetics, the management, and then uh, uh, the nutrition. So I'm talking about the Brachelia molato. Brachelia molato has a lot of protein. It has a lot of carbohydrates and uh, it has a, a big volume. I think you can see, even if you even touch on its leaf, it's heavy. It's a heavy thing. And then uh, you can do it in either way. You can either do it in, uh, uh, in a hay form or you can do it in a silage form. So today, as I told you, that uh, the weather det determines or uh, uh, dictates you on what you are supposed to do. So like now in this... Um, season it's a rainy season where i am right now so we cannot wait for the sunshine to start you get it because i told you if a grass this grass is showing you that it is fully grown because it has showed you uh, the seeds so there is no more other volume or no more other height it is adding on so what we have to do is only to harvest it and it's time up and then the rain is on you cannot do hay in a rainy season why because it cannot dry up so what are we going to do we are going to do the silage you remember i've been talking about the surface silage and that is what we are going to do so actually this is brachelia molato it's really very good grass very good grass you just have to cut and then it regrows so now what are going to do we are going to cut it then we add, we give it an opportunity of regrowing after harvesting and having our our feeds aside so look at the volume uh one it has it's really a very strong volume and if you bring in animals let's say to eat it fresh it's also a perfect thing so you people me i always tell you things and you think i'm joking then finally you find i'm not a joker me i always want to do my things right and i want you to learn on practice i don't want you to tell you stories that you talk about this grass talk about this i don't want to talk about it i want you to i want you to see the grass then see how we process it without even adding chemicals and then I will show you how to how the animals are really enjoying it. And I'll be showing you the results, how we are going to harvest dollars out of this. This is dollars, you people. And this is what is making us a uh, part of Africa. In some countries, they can't have opportunity of having this kind of stuff. But you, the Ugandans, you, the Africans, who can have an opportunity of having this kind of grass, use it. Use it because meat is part of the stuff that will never be tired of in the world so let's see how we can harvest make dollars out of this you know this is what we have so these are uh, we have many acres here like around 25 acres and then uh, what you're seeing in the background there uh, floris is there i have showed you the sugar graze i have showed you the nutri feed i've showed you the maize what else do you want it's just conversion of muscles right from the grasses let me just wish you the best me my work is just to show you the way forward it's up to you either you do it or you don't do it it's up to you to start the way you want but me have given you the right procedures all things are possible when you have the grass and the knowledge at the top but you people the biggest weakness that you people have one of the weaknesses the very big weakness your managements are also not right you people learn how to work with people the moment you understand how to work with people 
everything will be very good. Being soft doesn't mean that you're stupid, but you are supposed to be soft and do your things right. You get it? Stop, stop being rough. Stop being really arrogant with your workers because those are the processors of dollars. That is a piece of advice for your brains. Think about it. Think about how you touch your people at the farm, how you call them, how you associate with them. Let me wish you the best. Bye-bye. Come on, you.